right guys so it's been a few months been talking the talk and not walking the walk but today i go into I'm work and be giving my notice today i'm two years from being eligible to retire which is kind of a, uh, some of you guys are saying I'm insane for doing that, but you know, we have a sense of urgency. Time waits for no man, right? And we're not guaranteed to be retiring. Uh, that whole social security thing's definitely not something that we can rely upon either, you know? So this is our option, you know? I sit around, I wait in hopes that I can retire one day and then I live in the system and I'm still caught doing everything that everybody else is doing and that umbilical cord is still attached, right? What we plan on doing is like a high risk gambling or card game, you know? It's a high risk but high rewards and we essentially are putting our future into our own hands instead of the state or the government's hands, right? So I looked into it. I'm dropping out two years before I'm eligible for like a part-time retirement, right? So I got eight years in where I'm working at and it requires 10 to get minimum and then you're only probably getting, you know, 500 bucks a month or something like that, which isn't worth it to me. I'd rather just liquidate my retirement, which isn't much because I'm under 10 years, uh, pay off something, pay off a debt of some kind, and uh, that bus just cut me off. <laughs> They're pretty bad here in Denver, these bus drivers, but I digress. Yeah, so we're going to take the money out, we're selling the house, so we're going to have something to work with right something to work with uh it's kind of sad giving my my notice today because we're so short staffed where i'm working at and things are dire here at my job once i quit my job and i'm not working there we can go back and discuss what my job was exactly and what i do and uh but right now i kind of keep that a secret just for their in case I make them look bad, I guess. <laughs> Some jobs don't want off-gridders working for them, you know? So that's my plan. Give my notice today, two weeks from now. Everything's gone through with the house, guys. We're selling it, it's for sure. The owner definitely wants it. Uh, we got to bypass the appraisal process and the inspection went through the the person purchasing it kind of said, so what, I'll, I'll deal with those problems later, right? And so, two weeks, and I got some vacation time coming up, so it's kind of awkward that I'm given two weeks, but I have 10 days of vacation time too, so we'll see. I'm going to need all that time to pack up the remainder of the stuff in the house. We need to pack a moving van. We plan on taking that all that stuff plus our trailer down to Arizona two weeks from now guys usually when you give two weeks especially when people feel stuck in their occupation and that you might have some people that are haters you know they might not like the fact that you have an exit out and they don't but we'll see I'm optimistic that I'll have some positive feedback from my fellow employees and not just a bunch of grief you know all right we'll leave it at that definitely not gonna miss this all this traffic it'll be really nice to be able to walk outside no noise no traffic walk to your on-site project for the day you're taking care of the animals living the simple life that's what I'm getting at my job's stressful enough and then I gotta deal with traffic and all that good stuff so yeah not gonna be missing any of this that's for sure I mean when Carrie and I talk about the grind this is what we're talking about you know it's a uh, world's going crazy guys I guess we're not fast enough for it will I consider this normal it's uh that might be a mental prognosis 
something about this kind of living is just not right, you know, I mean, it's kind of hard with so many people living on the planet, but, you know, if you can find a way out, guys, that's, I suggest you do it, for you, it might extend your lifetime, you know, this city, Denver, its area, you know, it's, uh, it's going crazy, a lot of the laws being passed are not aligned with our world view, and, and it's just, uh, I'd like to say it's part of getting old, but you know, I've never really liked big cities, maybe in my 20s I didn't mind them, living out in Montreal, this is the grind we talk about, it's that mechanized, everybody's just going along with the herd kind of thing, herd mentality, that's what it is, um, nobody's able to support themselves except via enslavement to the system, everybody's forgot all those lost simple life skills to support themselves, the governments have completely want you to be that way, they want you to be completely encapsulated in their system. Yeah, I'm a little pessimistic, but, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely a great motivator to get the hell out of Dodge. You know, living like this can't be good for a person. You look back in the old days and they say people live to be 120, 130, 140. Well, this is why we don't live that long anymore right here. We just, too many working hours, working for somebody else and not yourself. Having the stresses associated with your boss being stressed. My job, they say that we have the highest suicide rate for, for retirees because of the adrenaline, you know. It's, uh, they get out, they retire, and they don't know what to do with all that, you know. Not high intense stress level all day. And they just come down off of that after retiring Suicide sometimes it's just health reasons because of the way that my job is a lot. It enables uh, self-destructive behavior, not taking care of yourself, and because you're just completely mentally exhausted. You know, there's nothing physical to my job really. It's uh, mentally exhausting, spiritually exhausting. I could see myself maybe, God willing, living a few extra years longer by getting out of this. Just getting out of this city, or any city in that fact, that manner. Yeah, I went from a, from a little easier circumstance in my job to, I'm back to where I started, and there's a lot of higher stress levels where I work at now. Uh, it's not for everybody, for sure. It looks like I'm going to get to work early today, because traffic wasn't that bad for a Tuesday. So, Doug, tell me what major thing happened in your life yesterday. Oh, uh, so, like this video's been shown, I drove in, uh, I went to work, and I actually had to ask permission to use the computer for a minute, you know? And they're like, well, what for? And I go, well, I gotta find my resignation papers on there in one of the forms. <laughs> and so they, they kind of just giggled thinking I was joking but then uh yeah he would totally do that too <laughs> yeah so the boss kind of walked away and I was wondering when he was going to come back so I decided just to drop the papers on his desk and uh, I saw him later on I go yeah I got some papers on your desk and he's like oh okay blah 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 
went over there, looked at it, and came back to me. He's like, so when's your last day? <laughs> and uh, told him the 23rd. So 23rd, he didn't give me much grief. I don't. Uh, one person actually came up to me and said, uh, oh, yeah, I heard that you're leaving. So somehow somebody spilled the beans. <laughs> you tell one person usually in the workplace, you can count on everybody knowing at yeah, some point. Yeah, so, so somehow most everybody knew. Uh, one guy came up me, one of the uh, bosses came up me, and he said, uh, I'm envious of you, because <laughs> I told him kind of what I was doing and everything, and I don't think anybody else really knows exactly the extent of what we're doing. Uh, they think that I'm just moving to Arizona and probably getting another job or something like that, but that's not the case. <laughs> yeah, it's a little deeper than that. So, Doug, how did that make you feel, putting your notice in? I have no feelings. I'm Vulcan. <laughs> Not true. But uh, yeah, I just, I have felt guilty because we're already short staffed and everything, so it's a bad timing. But we've been planning this for a while, y'all know. Yeah. We've been talking about trying to figure out if I was going to quit my job or anything. But yeah, we're down by about 75% of the employees at where I'm working at are not filled positions right now so everybody's doing doubles and triples and what have you so giving my notice i really felt uh felt guilty giving my notice yeah. but uh i also knew that i have to give my notice because we're about to sign on the house so and i'm not very good at quitting jobs unless i have another job lined up so this is completely weird not having another job lined up before yep. quitting a job yeah i did the, when i quit my job last year i felt the same way i felt really guilty and we were down a lot of people also like i think we had um the biggest spread of of positions open that we had ever had and so I did feel bad. That part was really hard. Um, but I think if we waited until it's convenient for everybody else, you know, he would never quit. Yes, <laughs> so that's true. We, he'd be there until and, he died. So. And, you know, that's part of being human. We all have to make decisions for ourselves, and it might affect other people. But we can't sit back and just not do things because we feel it will make somebody else inconvenience. Yeah, you know? that's, that's kind of a running theme with what we're doing because we have had some people with strong opinions, friends or family about what we're doing. Some people are say things like they're jealous and then other people say things like, you're insane, I would never do that or I would never be able to do that. So it, yeah, so you kind of have to separate that and, and really pay attention to what your own needs are and what our needs are going forward with our life so yep so that's another step that we've taken into proven to all you that we are actually doing <laughs> we're this gonna and not do just it making random videos you know <laughs> we'll eventually be out there on the property and then you might get sick of seeing all of our property videos but uh, until then um we have about a good week of trailer renovations to do still so we're gonna run out we're gonna run you some trailer some more trailer videos I know they can be kind of boring but uh it's all part of this moving off grid we're gonna be living in there probably for over a year and so we need to make all of our renovations now while we're in a house and near town so it'll be just a lot easier than doing it when we're out in the desert or traveling yeah. Um, so we're going to have those videos lined up for you over the next couple weeks and then we're going to get to, we're going to do a traveling for two weeks so you're going to see a lot of cool places. Yeah, we're going to bring you a lot of uh, traveling videos for the next two weeks because we need some severe breaks, you know, we're going to, mm -hmm. and we're going to be going uh, basketballs to the walls, uh, <laughs> working very hard but at least it's for ourselves, you know yeah in our future so yeah this um, is our 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 uh, respite before the real work kicks in yep before the real world work kicks in but until then hopefully this video wasn't too painful for you guys and we'll <laughs> see you next time bye